Hey everyone! So today I wanted to do a video. I wanted to do my June favorites since June is just about over, which is so crazy. Um, I'm just gonna jump right in and do those today. My birthday month is in July. The fourth of July, or the fourth of July, is in July. There's just a lot of fun things coming in July, so I'm kind of excited about that. But I'm also kind of sad because the summer is like flowing, like just flying by. And Connor's starting kindergarten next school year, which I'm not looking forward to. And so it's just, you know, it's really good because July is such a fun month for me. But then it's also sad because it's just going so fast. So anyway, um, it's already the end of June, which is just nuts. And I thought I'd do a favorites video. These are my favorite videos to do. These are my favorite videos to watch. I just think they're just really fun. So let's jump right in. I think I'm going to start with... Um, let's see, I'm going to start with an eye product. This is an eyeliner I found not too long ago. I'm going to link all of these products down below. I don't know if they'll be in the order that I'm like saying them in, but I'm going to link them all down below. So this is an eyeliner. Um, I've been really wanting to like experiment with like a um, kind of a pop of purple underneath my lash line, and that's what I'm wearing today. And this is called the L'Oreal Silk Silkissimi eyeliner. This is just in pure purple. It's just such a pretty, pretty eyeliner. It's like a bright kind of, um, it's like a bright purple, but it's not like super bright, but it's not super dark. It's just like the perfect color to just brighten up that waterline and it stays put so, so well. I wore this eyeliner in my waterline for like eight hours and it was just great. I love it. Um, I'll usually have to go over it a few times in my waterline and kind of build it up. And then once it's built up and once it sets, it's really, really great. This is one of my favorite eyeliners I've ever tried for the waterline because it's so smooth. You don't have to like pull and tug at your skin. It glides right on. It's beautiful and I highly recommend it. So really like these. I think that they have a few colors. I think there's like a cobalt blue, a teal. Um, I might have to look into getting a few more kind of fun like pop of color kind of colors for your waterline for the summer because they're kind of fun and they're really inexpensive. So the drugstore I think for around like seven or eight dollars. So anyway, I really, really like that a lot. The next two are lip products. I'm going to start by the one I'm wearing right now. This is Dior Cherry Bow. I believe it is a, let's see, it's an Addict Extreme, and the color is Cherry Bow, and I love this color. This is just a very sweet feminine color. It's very like, it's like a lighter kind of pink. It's not super opaque. It's a little bit more sheer, but it has enough color to really look beautiful. I love Dior lipsticks. I think they are just stunning. I do have another one that's kind of on my wish list too, but I really, really like this color. This is like one of my all-time favorite lipsticks right now. Like this month, I've worn this lipstick, oh geez, probably at least eight or nine times. Like it is just my go-to because I don't need a lip liner with it. I just put it on and it's just beautiful. So Cherry Bow, or Cherry Bow by Dior is just absolutely stunning. Another one I've been obsessed with, and again, I've worn it probably like seven or eight times. Hi, bud. Come over here. Guess he wanted to say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, so this is another lipstick that I've absolutely been loving. I've probably worn it like seven or eight times. This is the Marc Jacobs lipstick. This is one of their like newer ones, like the ones in the tan packaging. And this is, it's called the New Nudes, I think it is. And this is the, the shade Role Play. I love this color. It is so, so easy. I've worn it so much. It's just one of those like natural colors with a little bit of, um, with a little bit of a rosy tone to it. It's very like nude, but on the rosier side of nude, it doesn't make you look dead. It's just very, very beautiful. And I strongly recommend this one. I just, I love it so much. We're getting a whole bunch of helpers today. <laughs> um, sometimes they like to be in videos and sometimes they don't. So I never know. You want to say hi? Hey. Okay, another um, product I wanted to talk about is this eyeshadow. This is an eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, and it is in the shade Rockstar. I just love this color because it's so unique. You know, it's like one of those duochrome type colors where it looks silver in the pan, but then when you kind of put it on your eyes and you kind of move it around, it kind of tints a little bit. So it's like a silvery, pinky, purple type shade. 
and it's just so pretty. It like glides on your lid and in different lights it looks like a different color. So I have that on today with another shade in my crease and I just love it. This is like my go-to for summer because it's so fast and easy and it looks so dimensional. It's not just flat. So love, love, love this color so much for Makeup Geek. It is one of my very favorites. Another thing I want to mention is the Becca blush. So I've never really been to a Sephora that carries Becca. I know that they carry it online and some Sephoras do. And when we were on our vacation in Disneyland, we went to Disneyland and we went to Vegas and stuff. Um, in California, I went to a Sephora and they carried Becca and I was so excited because I've never seen Becca in person. I've only heard about it and seen swatches because all the Sephoras like around my area, well I don't have any really around my area now, but when I lived in Utah, all the Sephoras around my area didn't carry Becca. And so it was really exciting to actually see the products and see which one I wanted to get because I just love the packaging. It's like a little spaceship. It's really fun. And I went with a shade... Um, Damselfly. It's just such a perfect peach color. It reminds me a lot of NARS orgasm, NARS orgasm, except for it's a little bit more subtle. It's not as um, shimmery as NARS orgasm. It's just a little bit more subtle than that, but the color is like pretty much the same. It's just very, very beautiful, very summer appropriate, and I love it. It's one of my favorites now, and I've been wearing it nonstop this month. I have it on today. I just love this blush. So if you're looking for a good kind of peachy color and you want a shade kind of like that NARS Orgasm without so much shimmer, then I would go with this one because it's just perfect and it's beautiful and you'll probably love it. I'm hoping this video isn't too choppy. With kids, it's just like, <laughs> it's like they're in, they're out, they're in. Oh my gosh. So I'm trying to like cut this up so they're not so distracting. So I'm really sorry about that. So this next product I'm going to talk about is called the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refined Zone Treatment. So this is kind of like an oil type treatment. It helps kind of to make it so you're not as oily, you're a little bit more matte. So they also have a product called the MAC Matte Cream. That personally is like a no-go in my opinion. I would not even waste your money on it because they're about the same price and that one does not work. Um, that one's basically like a glorified like silicone primer. It doesn't do anything for oil. It doesn't do anything for keeping you matte. And so that one's not my very favorite. But I really, really like this one because it's more of that like white kind of consistency. It's not silicone at all, which I hate silicone. So it's not like a silicone base at all. It's like a white kind of runny consistency. You just need the tiniest little bit, like the tiniest little dot, and you just put it on before your primer in areas that you're a little bit more oily. So in my case, that's my T-zone. So on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin and you don't need hardly any of this. And then I go in with my primer and stuff like that. So I really, really like this stuff. It is amazing for oil control. It really, really works. And if you want something to help keep you a little bit more matte this summer, I would definitely recommend the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refined Zone Treatment. That's a little bit of a mouthful, but I really, really like this a lot, and it's definitely one of my very favorites, especially now that it's starting to get hot. This thing has been so, so nice. And this is like a really surprising favorite. This is from e.l.f., which is so inexpensive. Um, this brush was a dollar. This is the spoolie from e.l.f. It's just like the spoolie brush for your eyebrows. I love this spoolie. This is probably my favorite spoolie I've ever used. It's just so soft. It works great. It was a dollar. So if I go through one every month, it's not even a big deal. Like, it's just so good. And, um... Yeah, this is a new find. I love this thing. So if you need a new spoolie, go to Walmart. My Walmart carries e.l.f. Or go somewhere that carries e.l.f. Um, and yeah, get yourself a spoolie. It's really nice. My next favorite is something from my face. This is the Simple Cleansing Molecular or Micellar. Micellar? I don't even know how to say it. But anyway, it's like a face water. <laughs> um, so this, I guess, is advertised to be kind of like a cleanser, removing makeup, stuff like that. I personally don't think it's great at removing a lot of makeup, so I don't use it for that. What I use this for is I'll go in and wash my face with my regular face wash, do all that, and I'll go in with this after I wash my face on a cotton pad and go all around my face on my eyes and everything like that just to make sure all of my makeup is fully removed. I'll first go in with my cleansing oil, then my face wash, and then this on a cotton pad just to make sure everything is completely removed, and then I'll go in with my toner and then the rest of my moisturizers and stuff like that. But 
I love this so much. It is really, really great for just making sure the rest of your makeup is removed. I wouldn't use this as like a regular um, cleanser. I wouldn't use this for just taking off all your makeup because it's really not going to do that great of a job. But I love it for like after you wash your face to make sure everything is gone because I can usually get quite a bit off with this after I wash my face, so it's kind of nice just to make sure every single bit is gone. So I really like this a lot. I know that they have a Garnier um, Fructis one, but they don't sell it in the U.S. I know that they have that. I think that's more in like the Paris kind of realm um, of the world, but I wish that they had that here because I'd really like to try that one. But um, so far, I really like this simple one a lot. Um, and the last favorite is my, no, this isn't my last favorite. This is my last, like, actual, like, visual favorite. But I have, like, a TV show and stuff I'll talk about in a second. So this is the Caviar Anti-Aging, first of all. It's an anti-aging thing for your hair. I think that's so silly. I think sometimes they just write anti-aging on everything because it's like, oh, it's anti-aging, but for your hair, really? Whatever. Um, it's Caviar Anti-Aging Rapid Repair Spray Instant Shine and Moisture. I love this stuff. I've talked about this a really long time ago. I love it. So this is just <clears throat> this is just a very very fine mist. Um, it's not a heat protectant or anything like that. It's a very sh like fine mist. It kind of adds shine and moisture to your hair. But what I like it for is the smell. It smells incredible. And if you're like me, after you straighten your hair or curl your hair, um, sometimes your hair will smell bad. <laughs> like it will kind of just smell like that burnt, even though it's not burnt or anything like that. It'll just kind of have that like really bad smell to it after straightening it or curling it or anything like that. It'll just smell like a hot tool, which is not a good smell. So I like to spray my hair with this, like just very lightly after I straighten it or curl it or anything like that. And it just makes it smell really, really good. Um, I even sprayed it in today, um, and this is like two-day hair, so it's just really nice for like just giving it that really good scent and just kind of giving it a little bit of shine and moisture, so really, really like this stuff. I got mine at Ulta. It's caviar, so it's expensive. I think it's like $45, but it's really, really nice. I've like I've had this for like over a year, though, and it's not gone because I use it very sparingly, but I really, really like this stuff a lot. It's really good. So a few favorites that I don't actually have to show you. Um, I think that there's just one. Yeah, there's just one. And that's my favorite TV show. I'm just looking at my list. I think that's it. So my favorite TV show of this month is on Netflix. If you have Netflix, you've got to watch it. It's called Call the Midwife. And it's based in the 1950s. So it's like based in that type of era. And it's just really interesting. It's just based on... Um, this midwife, she was um, basically, she got her training and everything, and she went to go live with the nuns. Um, that's like kind of where the midwives live, and they just call them out. You know, she has, like back then, they didn't really have, patients didn't really go into the hospital and have like regular doctors. They didn't deliver in a hospital unless it was like super serious. Um, so they would just have midwives come to their house and check them every month and then they'd come to their house and deliver the baby and everything like that and it's just so interesting to see like how they did things back then and just how different it is like they would just they had these like carriages they'd push their babies in like kind of like a stroller we have a stroller now but they would just leave them outside of any building they went to so if women went to like the hair salon or something they just leave the carriage with the baby inside and just go inside to the appointment and then come back out and you know get, and it was just so common back then everyone did that and I'm just like oh my gosh I would never do that to my baby but you know now it's just so different and so it's just so so cool to see all of the different things they did back then and to see how women like birthed um, in their houses and to see like kind of just, I don't know, just all the different things. It's just really cool. And they didn't really have contraceptives, I don't think, back then. I don't think they had birth control or anything like that. And so a lot of people were getting pregnant because they didn't have any way to stop pregnancy. And so it, there was just a ton of pregnancy. I think it was like 80%. Um, so it was just really crazy to see everything that was happening. But anyway, if you're looking for a good show to watch that's a little bit interesting, it's called Call the Midwife. I'll link it below. But it's just so good. I'm on, I just barely finished season one, I'm about to start season two. I think they have three seasons on Netflix and I think they're on the fourth season, but that hasn't came to Netflix yet, but it's just so good. So anyway, I'll stop talking about it, but I love that show and you should definitely give it a, give it a shot if you're into stuff like that. Anyway, I think that that's it. I'm like talking and talking and talking. I think that that's it. Um, Thank you so much for watching. If you still want to ask me questions, I will link my video below. I have a questions video below where I'm asking for questions and stuff. 
um, that's still going on. So I'm gonna link that video down below if you wanna ask me questions, please ask me underneath that video. That would be so fun. And if you wanna follow me on um, Instagram and on Snapchat, I'll link all of my, I have a YouTube Instagram and a personal Instagram and then a Snapchat. If you wanna follow me there, I'll link that below. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.